OCO family. Two second style, I'm about to show you how the um, indigenous peoples um, were depicted and how they depict themselves. And we're gonna go from south to north right quick. Two second style though. I know y'all noticed the image in the background. This is an Inca. This is how they were depicted by the invaders who, um, you know, colonized those lands. Pete, what he hold in his hand? We know that's tobacco, and tobacco is indigenous to the Americas. Um, I did a whole video on um, American Indians' contributions to the world on tobacco, cigars, and pipes. Check it out. This is a um, warrior from Costa Rica known as a carib. Um, you can find that in the um, gold museum that's in Costa Rica. But peep cuz, peep his trick. Start playing with us. As some of you may know, this is the Aztecs. They're, now, this is the way they depicted themselves. This is in a codex, in a, or codices, whatever you call this shit. But this is the way they depicted themselves. Look at their fucking ops. Look what they doing to their fucking ops. Now, remember the book I told you about, right? The Mongol invasion of Peru? Let's, okay, man. On to the next one, though. These great people, y'all should know who they are. If you don't, they are the Mayans. And this is actually from their um, one of their murals, Bone and Pack murals. Um, and this is how they depicted themselves, yo. Look at it. Look at the locks. Look at the drip. Stop playing with this. I'm going to touch on these people because they influence all of the America's cultures. And I'm going to break it down, you know, later. Follow my YouTube at Smoking Sessions with Chief Pressure. Let's go on to the next one. You should definitely know who these people are. These are the Omex, Omex sheep people, um, known as the mother civilization of all the American civilizations, right? Because it's dated the oldest, or the artifacts they're finding is the oldest. Peep it, peep the peep the pick. Yeah. Okay, now we take it to North America. Now the next couple of effigies and statues and stuff I show you, they're gonna be um, how the mound builders depicted themselves. So these are all how the mound, they're like Scotty Pippen, look at them. This is how, these are Negro quote unquote people, right? And this is how they depicted themselves. These are artifacts, so it ain't just me talking. Like, these what these people gotta stop doing, acting like it's just me talking. Cause I show and fucking prove every time. Every fucking time, but let's continue. These are the Yamasi. In these AK Gullah Geechee Simon. So I'm not getting into all that right now. But um look at them. They are indigenous American melanated. Melanated. You melanated indigenous Americans. Cause I'ma break down the difference between melanins too, because y'all be wilding. But look what they doing to these paved pale faces. Look what they doing. Now these are more North American Indians, right? And peep what they doing to uh colonists, aka loyalists or whatever the fuck, right? Now, this is at the time of colonization. You understand? So we was always fighting the ass. It was never a time that we wasn't fighting shit. Right now, it's probably the only time that we really ain't fighting. But yeah, that's how they depicted the North American Indians they were warring with. Now, the images in the background is an ad for a little Indian collar cuff shirts from 1901. And you see who they got displaying a fucking American Indian. Stop playing with our body, yo. Cause we solid out here for real, for real. Now these are depictions of Chippewa women or Mississippian women, right? Or Anishabi women, whatever the fuck. But these are the true depictions of them. Look at the fro. Chippewa means fro. Chippewa is a fro. Like people don't know this shit though. On to the next one. Now, this is a picture of a man and a woman of the Chippewa to the eastward of the Mississippi and North America, as it reads at the bottom. And you can see the, the child, too, right there. But yeah, man, the size. On to the next one. Now, I'm going to read two ex excerpts that I did um, on a previous video, but just for more clarity, right? Atlanta history begins in 1821 when the Creek Indians were supposedly forced off their lands. 
during that year in what is now called Metro Atlanta in the book Early History of the Creek Indians by John Swatton. The southeastern tribes were described as the color of the inhabitants is dark brown. They preserved traditions of great antiquity and rhymes and chants. Dancing and physical exercises are held in honor and they are passionately found fond of ball games in which they exhibit the greatest skills. All of that. Who are those people, man? Who is he talking about? It's only one people he talking about. Let's not let's not act dumb. You know they talking about us. Stop playing, yo. This the last part of the video is from Italian explorer Giovanni de Verrazzano in 1524. This is what he described. The complexion of the Carolina Indians is black, not much different from that of the Ethiopians. Their hair is black and thick and not very long, tied back behind their head like a small tail. As for the physique of these men, they are very well proportioned of medium height, a little taller than we are. They have broad chest and strong arms, and the legs and other parts of the body are well composed. They are broad in the face and have big black eyes. They have a sharp cunning and are agile and swift runners. This was in 1524. That definitely don't describe the people that be coming on our content with all that hate, right? So put some respect on our name, man. If y'all don't, we're going to make you. That's point blank, period, girl. Fuck out of here. Fucking goofy. Peace, love, and power to all my people. Please just subscribe to the YouTube uh, at Smoking Sessions with Chief Pressure. Thank you. Smoking Sessions with Chief Pressure.